when they first came in, a lot of the prisoners didn't want the program for the other prisoners because they were getting something I don't have. So the staff had to listen to the other prisoners all the time. We had to listen to why they get it, why are they special. So we dealt with that. Now, I'll give the Kelvin prisoners some props on this because the way they presented themselves and they stayed the course. They didn't get off into the, we're better than you, they just stayed the course. <clears throat> that helped us correctionally, custody-wise, because we didn't have the problems with the fights and the, the threatening behaviors between prisoners. They, they stayed the course. And that's, again, because of these guys, because they were right there, right focused on them. So, <clears throat> and over time, we had less prisoners because we got more in. More prisoners were saying, how do I get to be part of this through the trades? And we started having less problems with prisoners, less problems with prisoners on staff, staff on prisoners, and the population just, everything started to mellow out. And then it was like a garden. All of a sudden we started growing more flowers. <laughs> and gardens again. Yeah, they're beautiful. And if you've never been in a lot of prisons, I've been in several that are just prison. It is cement and dirt. And it's a miserable place to be. And this place was kind of like that when I got here. And 10 years later, this is what you see. So with the prisoner population, our population is a lot better. Our criticals have gone down, our fights have gone down, and prisoners are not helping each other like the community. 